Welcome to the Deadly Addictions channel. Winter is coming. That's right. I'm going to be talking about Game of Thrones. And I even use different font for this. This is a special occasion. And probably not a well-liked or received one from any fans, any friends, or family. This show was created by I Don't Give a Fuck. It was starring I Don't Really Care. It has so much awesomeness in it that it's super disappointing for me. No plot spoilers, major whatever the fucks. This show is a fucking... I it just... Hard to even get through. I want to make sure I watched every episode going back. Just a fight to get through these fucking episodes and these seasons. I'm sorry. I recognize its greatness in, in, in a sense. Maybe critically, I'll give it, you know, perhaps one of the greatest shows ever. Production-wise, just blows people away. When I first started watching it, and I had read the books. I hate the fucking books. The books are, just don't work for me. And the show is better than the books. So, I don't know if that's saying much. Thinking that maybe it's this frame of mind. You know, the time it comes out, what I'm going through in life, and trying to be self-aware. Friends would come over and like, did you watch this? No, you know, I'm going to wait till the season's over. I'm going to watch it in a bulk, watch it in a bulk. And I'm shaking my hand, rolling my eyes. And over the years, whatever it is, I'm going back and making sure I watch the season. And I'm sorry, I don't enjoy the show. This might be one of the first podcasts I do that. It's probably super f- popular and recognized and critically acclaimed. I really give no shits about this show. And it's right in my wheelhouse. Fantasy, medieval, Lord of the Rings type stuff. But fucking winter came for six years it was coming. And as much as the fucking ending was dumb and stupid for, to me, I always give that last episode props in most genres and most shows because it's uh, artistic and the writers would how they want to wrap it up. Like... Battlestar Galactica, one of my favorite shows ever. I can understand people not liking the ending or Sopranos. And I don't detract it from the worth of the show. But I I don't know. Great fucking acting. Great scenery. Now, in the beginning, it's bullshit. The fight scenes in the beginning, the sword fights were fucking horrible. But you love some of the characters. You love some of the acting top-notch amazing stuff people capture your heart but they don't stay long enough and they want to go on different paths and you're like where's that awesomeness oh it's i gotta watch this oh where's the awesome oh i want to wait oh here comes the awesomeness oh five minutes those decisions the the way it's plotted out just bore the shit out of me missed opportunities missed opportunities constantly in my opinion I just don't see it. I don't feel it. I don't care. Like, I get this feeling like Walking Dead. Love the premise, the opening, the first season, possibly the beginning of the second. And then somewhere along the line, I'm trudging through, trying to fight through season six. Season six blows me away in the first part. I'm talking about Walking Dead, and then it fucking shits the bed, and then I don't give a fuck, and go fuck yourself. With this bullshit concept that doesn't work for me anymore. And that shouldn't happen with Game of Thrones. Uh, sword, fantasy, um, somewhat magic, uh, dragons, and and it just doesn't hold no weight for me. It has no love, it has no interest in watching it again and again. Just trying to, you know, piece together, like, could it be I have a... Like, there's no actors I hate. It's not like a director married their daughter. Or I, I found out you know, half the staff wants to make pot illegal. Like, I can't come up with anything rational. 
I see the beauty in, in what they created and some of the actors and the way the characters interact. But as a whole, I give no shits. I, even looking back on it, I don't care. I am so happy and I'm elated that it lent credence to my genre or that it gave awareness and respect to, you know, stories that could be told like the Lord of the Rings type thing, adult, you know, you don't shy away from things. So I give it props. I mean, I do, but it's a personal, uh, treat. It's not, it, it doesn't, I don't look forward to watching the show. I don't care about it. Uh, I felt bad even, um, trying to explain it to people and trying to watch and keep up with it. It just, this is maybe this is one of those things, not for me. And at first being excited because oh it's it's better than the books it seems, but in the fucking books, man. You got fucking whole books that have nothing to fucking do with the people you thought you knew. You fine, you want to call it artistic, it's their choice. I'm all for that. I don't want no one telling me as a writer or my novel or whatever I want to continue it in. It's going to be my choices, and okay, that's the way it works. And I know these are adaptions, but for now, I'm talking about the book. This works for a lot of people. It's so loved, so I'm happy. I'm happy it does well for my love of medieval Lord of the Rings fantasy settings and the acting. I mean, I love some of these actors and the characters they play. But for me, there's so many missed opportunities and shitting on the characters that... I don't care, and then they break it up where it doesn't interest me. Like, I don't want to watch, you know, season four or five and then get, got to go back to season two and realize who this guy's related to, his brother's sister's father, and the nephew's cousin's brother and daughter-in-law. You know, yeah, you got these wow moments and stuff that make you, you know, appreciate their... Um, not taking shit or just doing their vision. I give it props and I give it props in a lot of ways, but I can't, I can't look on it fondly. I don't look at it as something that is part of my life. That is, um, uh, you know, it brings more joy to it. And yes, I could look back and say, okay, you know, the show came out and, you know, I'm in a, I don't know, bad place. I can understand that. Uh, for most of its run, possibly, you could say. Um, except for the last couple of years. My fiance had been gone for a while then. But I try to look back on certain things that I thought I'd had a predisposition for or a bias or you know, the mood I was in and the place I was in, you know, colored everything. But going back, no, I, and maybe it is still part of that. You know, I'm not a perfect person. That's a cool song. Who was think? I love that song. The fucking, like the one hit wonder band. Anyway, Game of Thrones. Man, I wanted to love this. I want to love this fucking show. I feel like I would have to do a super edit of my own to really like it. You know, make like uh, four seasons, even less. I mean, anyway, I don't see it as something I could go back on and enjoy. I don't see binge watching it again just for doing this. I'm like, ugh, you know, it just doesn't sit well with me in almost any way. I, uh, sometimes I don't know how to explain it. This should be the perfect ingredients for me. I just, I wonder. It could be a lot of things. Um, I would say, for me, it's the plot course. And it's the expectations I might have. And these expectations are built over the time I'm missing the characters and plots I love. So it's it's not like, you know, the end of season four of X-Files, you know, the end, end on a cliffhanger and, you you know, you're, you're waiting, you're waiting, and then the season starts and you're not really happy with how they concluded it or fucking 
Dallas and JR getting shot. It was a dream. You get so much time, it feels like, between the production and the show put out and the episodes that are put out, and it doesn't feel fulfilling. It doesn't feel, you know, it's like I'm eating cardboard, and every once in a while they give me a bite of steak or, you know, and I still got to chew through this fucking bland paper and, and swallow it. It just it doesn't work with me. And fuck, I don't, I want to love this show. But again, I'll say this critically. Will I give it its dues and its props? Yes. Do I recognize uh, why people love it and why it is given the critical acclaim? Yes. It doesn't work for me on so many levels that it's not enjoyable. So maybe I would give it a critical rating of like an 8.3. I mean, you know, but... Or recommend it also. Like, hey, you know what? Watch Game of Thrones. But for me, I don't care. I don't bother. I don't look fondly on the show. And it just doesn't... And it's something that does bother me. I, I Like I said, I, I want to love the show. Um, I'd have to make a super edit, I think. I think I'd have to actually go back and trim this shit that's in there or restructure it maybe or maybe that's a better way of putting it not taking it from six seasons to four which probably would work better but maybe just restructuring it myself uh and hey maybe i'm a puppet maybe i'm trained in a certain way and the movie industry is you know made me and the tv industry has made me set to these themes they use you know and i'm used to the structure of uh of the shows to me this doesn't compare to buffy and x files it it doesn't come close but looking at it neutrally and critically i see why it ranks up there and like i said i would probably give the same type of credence to walking dead but Game of Thrones doesn't work for me, but I recommend it. Watch it. Give it a shot. And if you are somebody who just was never interested in it and you don't care, give it a shot because it could be just me. It could be the state of mind. You know, 2011, it came out. It ran to 2000, last year, 19. Fucking gaps in between and the number of the seasons it all could have created something that I can't pull apart it's all mixed in I can't separate the time of my life and the tragedies that were going on you know 2012 my book came out I'm in Comic Con I have a booth I'm signing books I'm getting interviewed and at that time it was the best and worst of times as soon as I finished the Comic Con, I dropped out of social media for five years. And the show was fucking running. The show was running since 2011. I could admit, um, maybe I'm missing something. It is me. It is. It could be. Matter of fact, the probability is way higher that it's me. So maybe one day I'll really grow to appreciate the show. And if that day comes, I'll appreciate it. I look forward to it. But for now, I give no fucks about Game of Thrones. I recommend it. Watch it. Even if you don't think you give a fuck about Game of Thrones, watch it. Because I think it, 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 it's that, you can see the greatness is there, and it's just it's not working for me. Give it a shot. Stay healthy. I will see everybody next time. The winter is coming. Oh, no, it came already. It's, it's gone. It's, it's leaving. And so am I. <laughs>